It's January 19th, 2017. Varsity hockey game, Triple A division game between Peters Township and Upper St. Clair. Upper St. Clair in black with red trim, Peters Township in white with red pants. Upper St. Clair starting goalie number 59, Jonathan Blyer, and opposing him for Peters Township, number 33, Wesley Kaler. And we're off with the first puck drop as number 88, Opika, dumps it into the zone. And Upper St. Clair will chase and pinch in the corner. Opika behind the net now, tries to pass out front. 81, Isaac Goodman making the stop there. And 91, Quinn Giacobbe making a play through center. The shot is wide and Peters Township regains possession. Both of these teams are looking for a win here tonight. Peters Township has lost their last three in Upper St. Clair, having a struggling season is coming off a devastating loss in overtime to their rival, Bethel Park. Giacobbe with the outlet pass to number 93, Tucker Lamb. And that's given up. Number 77, Connor Gilarowski with the shot there. And an in-front chance with William Barnes, the captain of the Peters Township team. Upper St. Clair struggling to clear the puck. Pull it, number eight, finally does, but right back into the Peters Township players' hands. Look out here, Gilarowski in front. He's the top scorer on Peters Township, 15 points in 14 games. Malcolm Miller slammed against the boards here, but takes a hit to make a play. And a line change for both teams now. Peters Township, hard dump into the zone. Blyer with an amazing save. Daly now, soft dump into the zone. Good four check by Upper St. Clair. Derek Kopak now pressuring the puck. And Saleo behind his own net now, looking to pass out of the zone. Saved by Blyer on oh, rebound. Went wide, just over the net. Kopak puts the body on Peters Township. Looking to Stevenson. Giacobbe now. Ref in the way of the play, keeps the puck in for Upper St. Clair, but Peters Township clears. And it's Schwartz now, passes to number 12, Raymore. Good little defensive play, and G. Kobe passes it up to number 14. 74, rather. Dump in by Peters Township. Blyer's gonna play it behind the net. Mishandled, Peters Township regains possession. Number 74 now, Kurt Leonard. And Upper St. Clair clears the puck. Back into the Upper St. Clair zone, their defensemen are tired, need a rest. Need to get a change here soon. Also dangerous Peters Township offense might take advantage of their fatigue. Oh, deflection by number 18 for Upper St. Clair. Manalo right past the net. Good defensive play there. Carroll now with an outlet pass. A little bit of stray. And Peters Township clears back into the zone. And these Upper St. Clair defensemen, especially number 20, is really tired right now. They finally get the change they were looking for. Gavin makes the pass. Carroll dumps in, goes for a change. Pullets pressuring, good four check here. Good play by number 63 Underwood on Peters Township to keep the puck in. 
basic with a chance, mishandles the puck, and Peters Township regains possession. Now Underwood with a good windmill deep, but stopped on the second chance by Malcolm Miller. Daly now with a little chip play, but passed one defender into another. Majestic and Stevenson with a collision in the corner. And Peters Township comes up with possession. Good defensive play by Malcolm Miller gets the puck back, but Peters Township takes it right back after that. Really even game here so far. More time on attack for Peters Township, but Upper St. Clair has been defending them well. Good play by Blyer so far in the first period. And here comes Stevenson with a pass. It goes a little bit astray. Tipped off of Peter Township's stick. And Malcolm Miller comes to play the puck, and he's beat to it. Barnes with a centering pass and a goal by number 80, Stephen Rex, who has 11 points in nine games this season. And Peter's Township goes up, leads 1-0 with 11 minutes, 15 seconds left in the first period. And after that goal, Blyer, not sure if he sustained an injury on that play, but we're seeing a goalie change by the Upper St. Clair coach. And Anthony Petito now is in net for Upper St. Clair, number 66. Aggressive forechecking here by Upper St. Clair. No doubt they're trying to get that goal back and nullify it, get the game back even. Heavy collision into the boards in the corner. Looks like Pullet's the one that goes, or Goodman's the one that goes down. He's late getting up. He appears fine. Slapper from the point by number 22, Matthew Michalowski, but good pad stop by Anthony Petito. It'll be a face-off in the Upper St. Clair defensive end. And the new line comes on, new forwards, new defensemen, fresh change. Ten minutes left to play now in the first period with a relatively few amount of stoppages. A block by Manalo and more defensive plays from number six, Michael Daly. Carroll with the outlet pass to number 74, Kurt Leonard. And a shot on goal easily turned aside by Wesley Kaler in net for Peters Township. Uh, Saleo can't keep it in and Upper St. Clair is forced to regroup. Intercepted pass by Donardo for Peters Township gives his team possession. Passing around and Upper St. Clair intercepts. Carroll now down the right wing, taking a shot and a hit. Shot goes wide and high. Daly with a pass, give and go, didn't quite work out. Now Tucker Lamb dumps the puck in, and Basic's gonna go in, chase after that one. Peters Township moving the puck now, still in their end. Here 
There's Stevenson off of Peters Township's player to base it back to Stevenson. Puck taken away from him in the offensive zone. Malcolm Miller's going to clear the puck back in, and Stevenson goes back to get it. Now it's Underwood with a pass. Oh, and an excellent poke check by Anthony Pedito. Saved a goal there for sure. Will Gavin now clears the zone. And into the catching glove of number 33, Kaler. There's going to be a face-off in the offensive zone for the Panthers now. We'll see who they put on the ice for this. Like Stevenson will take the face off. Wins it ahead to Kopak. Across the net, but no one's home. Daly with a good keep. Kopak chasing to the corner. And Peters Township clears the zone, if only for a moment, forces Upper St. Clair to regroup. And now Gilakowski with a shot that goes wide. And here's Daly with a pass to Giacobi. Giacobi's gonna go to Kopak. And Kopak just clears it in, but on net, that counts as a shot. And it looks like Gilowski is coming down the wing. He's gonna pass to the center, but no one home to put it in the empty net. And the Panthers iced the play, probably just to get a line change. This period, not a lot of whistles, as I mentioned before, so it really leaves the defensemen tired by the end when they finally do get a change. Good pass in front to number 12, he can't put it home. Another good save by Petito, who's definitely keeping his team in the game here. And Saleo now to Kurt Leonard. Leonard tries to clear the zone, hits Saleo, his zone teammate. Oh, and to the center. Cal Raymore, stick lifted on the play, doesn't even get a shot off. Lejeune from the, Lejeune took a shot from the point. Petito thought he covered it and it was loose, but he got it on the second effort. Once again, an excellent save from Anthony Petito, who came in this game in relief of Jonathan Blyer after Blyer gave up the first goal. Pullet taking the face off now for Upper St. Clair. Peters Township almost playing keep away in the corner of the offensive zone here. Daily little chip past the forecheck. And another one doesn't quite work as well the second time. Big chance for Jacob Basic, stopped by the blocker of number 33, Kaler, for the Peters Township. Apart from a couple shots, Jacob Basic's attempt on a breakaway there is really the only offensive threat we've seen from Upper St. Clair throughout this game. Hopefully they'll get some more going and maybe tie this one up before the end of the first. And a pass intended for number 40 goes wide, and icing is the result. It's going to come all the way back to a face-off in Peters Township defensive end on the left side of Kaler. 
Elliot Stevenson taking this face off, as we saw earlier, with Kopak and Giacobbe on the wings. And a shot right off the face off saved by Kaler. Icing is waved off by the referee. Isaac Goodman didn't get back in time. And here's Kopak to Giacobbe. Giacobbe takes a shot and it's blocked. Panthers still have possession. Giacobbe with another shot right under a defender and that one's wide. Couldn't keep the zone there by Gavitt and now Goodman has to go back and get the puck. Peters Township is taking advantage of the missed passes by Upper St. Clair. They made a line change. Upper St. Clair now is going in for their line change. Tucker Lamb on the four check here. And Jacob Basic. Own a pass to Basic right in front, just can't handle it. Saleo back to chase this puck, and it's going to be icing. Three thirty-one left in the first period, and Peters Township leads Upper St. Clair one to nothing. Pika now on a breakaway, takes a shot just wide. Tito, good job there of taking away any shot that Opika thought he had, ended up shooting it wide. Still in the upper St. Clair end, however. Having trouble clearing the zone. And Daly in the board with Opika right behind him. And a penalty now, we'll see who this is on. Multiple questionable hits going on on that play. And it looks like they're gonna send Joseph Pullett to the box. His first penalty of the season, they're calling him for an elbow. And Peters Township will take their first power play opportunity tonight. Just a two minute power play. Michalowski now with a shot and it's blocked by Malcolm Miller. Malcolm Miller has had some solid defensive play this evening. Michalowski again, not gonna shoot this time. Instead he's gonna pass it off to number 12, Cal Raymore. Michalowski now taking a shot, oh! And the rebound goes right to number 23, William Barnes, who puts it in the empty net on the penalty kill. And Peters Township takes a 2-0 lead with 2 minutes 12 seconds left to go in period number one. William Barnes now has his 14th point and 9th goal in 15 games this season. 
definitely an offensive threat whenever he's on the ice. That's why he's the captain of the Peters Township team. And Carroll now attempts to clear the zone. Nice backhander out to center ice. Peters Township with it again, and Carroll with an intercepted pass. A one on three, and he takes a shot, and it deflects off a defender, but right into the blocker of Kaler. And now Cal Raymore with, a, with the puck into the offensive zone. Good defensive play by Jonah Manalo, number 18 for Upper St. Clair. Carroll will dump in the puck and go for a change. Big hit in the corner by Leonard. One minute left in the period now, and the out pass to Stevenson goes just wide. It's going to come all the way back on an icing call. <laughs> Stevenson will take the face off for Upper St. Clair. Rex has the on for Peters Township. Takes a shot right into the catching glove of Anthony Petito. That's a routine stop from that er area of the ice. Malcolm Miller now back, and he's beat, but icing is still the call. Stevenson taking all the face-offs for Upper St. Clair. They just haven't been too lucky here. And a shot goes wide. Now Kopak to Giacobbe on the boards. And he's hammered. Gavitt's got to skate backward now to stop G. Lukowski. And a good save by Petito. Shot into the back of the net. Picked off the back of the net by Peters Township. And that'll do it for the first period. Peters Township leads the Panthers 2-0 going in the second period and they'll change sides. It'll be interesting to see which goalie coach of Upper St. Clair decides to put out for the second period. Both have given up a goal. Start of the second period here as Manalo takes the face off against Underwood. Good job by Daly to keep the puck in for Upper St. Clair, who are wearing the black jerseys with red trim against Peters Township in white jerseys with red trim and red pants. Clear of the zone by the Peters Township defenseman. Daly does a good job of passing that back up to center, and Carroll's going to dump that one in. Now, Leonard and Pullet here with a two on two, and it's taken away by Lejeune for Peters Township. Daly keeps it in the zone. Lamb to basic here. He's going to take the shot, and it goes wide as he evades a hit. Gavitt keeps it in the zone. Basic intercepted pass behind the net. He'll pass it back out to pull it back to Basic. He's held there and pinned by Lejeune. Get it over to him. Lamb to Basic, who takes a shot in the rebound. And now, pull it lying on top of the goalie for Peters Township. 
And a slap shot held by Wesley Kaler for Peters Township. Uh, scrum in front of the net as Pullet for Upper St. Clair enters the crease. There you go, Joe. So face-off is going to be in the Upper St. Clair offensive zone to the left of Wesley Kaler. Upper St. Clair looking for its first goal of the night. And it looks like there's going to be a penalty on that play. Went right over my head. A two-minute penalty for number 44, Peters Township, Lejeune, the defenseman. So the Panthers are on a power play, and Peters Township is going to outlet pass. A two-on-one on the penalty kill. They're going to take a shot, and it's saved by Anthony Petito right into the logo. Stevenson slowly through center. He's going to dump it in, and Giacobbe's going to chase it around the boards. Over there. Daly with a shot. Blocked by defenseman for Peters Township. Maybe Stevenson, he took a fall. Maybe it hit his skate. I couldn't really tell. Here's Daly behind the net waiting for some help. Daly to Kopak. Derek with a shot. Deflected off the stick. Relatively easy shot for number 33, Kaler. Good play by Derek Kopak to get right into the front of the net and just can't capitalize on the opportunity. Daly now to Giacobbe. Slaps a wrister. I can't tell if Kaler saved that or number six for Peters Township, Nicholas Young. But one of them covered it in the crease and that's gonna be the end of that. Good offensive play here so far in the second period by Upper St. Clair. You can definitely see the chances piling up. Face off one back. Shot went high and wide by Basic there. And Malcolm Miller comes back up with it. Going to pull it in the back. Now Basic. Shot just wide by Basic from right at the right side of the left circle. Pretty prime scoring chance, but too many bodies in front. And that's going to be icing. The penalty kill is over for Peters Township. Come all the way back to the right of Wesley Kaler. So Pullet's going to take this face off, trying to win it back to Saleo or Daly. And it does. It gets back to Daly, to Basic. Stick lifted, can't shoot on the play. Upper St. Clair keeps the puck in the zone on the clearing attempt. There's Basic now. Low angle shot by Pullet, blocked in front. Daly with a shot, saved by Kaler. Upper St. Clair really hounding away with the shots and opportunities in the second period, just can't seem to capitalize. Good save by Anthony Petito in that offensive chance for Peters Township.
Gavin here into the offensive zone to Kopak, a nice little shot. No one home to put in the empty net. Majestic now through center. Three on two here for Peters Township and the shot is blocked. Well, dipsy do by Opeka gets it passed, but bad angle shot from Majestic, saved easily by Petito. Out come Manalo and Carroll for Upper St. Clair. Both teams taking a change here. Shot high and wide. Carroll with the four check now. Dump pass. Manalo into the offensive zone. Dumps the puck in as he goes down to the ice. Leonard trying to keep the puck in. Carroll on the four check on the other side. Carroll pinned against the board, trying to keep the puck from the Peters Township defense. And the refs finally blow the whistle after three Peters Township players and two Upper St. Clair players are in the corner rummaging for that puck. It's like the holy grail, no one could find it. So even strength face off to the right of Wesley Taylor. Drop pass and a shot off the glove of Petito up into the netting. Face off is going to be on the right side. The left side, apparently, of Anthony Petito. Petito certainly kept his team in it with a couple stellar saves in the second period and the first period. But can't put many games into the win column without scoring a goal, so. Gotta hope the offense comes up big here. Shot by Stevenson from the high slot, blocked with the pad of Kaler. Gia Kobe sandwiched in front. Shot by Saleo, and it's blocked in front. The attempt to clear by Peters Township fails, and it's back in their end, but they have possession. Gavitt intercepts that pass to spin around. No, it's Anthos now for Peters Township. Saleo denies that opportunity. And Saleo almost clears the zone, but not quite. Stevenson almost clears the zone, but not quite. And it's the same as we saw in the corner a couple minutes ago, except this time it gets loose. And Derek Kopak loses the puck to Anthos, who passes it. A shot and save by Petito. Momentum has shifted in the second period. First half, we saw all Upper St. Clair on that power play opportunity, and now they can hardly clear their zone. Stevenson takes it, and just a backhand shot from the red line. That's a relatively routine stop by number 33, Kaler.
outlet, pla outlet pass misses the intended target of Tucker Lamb. But no icing on the play. Didn't fully pass the red line before Young got there. Daly keeps it in, but right to Young for Peters Township. Pucks, hops over Jacob Basic's stick. And a punishing hit on Daly in the corner by G. Larowski from Peters Township. A Goodman with an outlet pass to Basic. Again, just hops over his stick. Upper St. Clair with a two on one here, but G. Larowski gets back and rejects that play. Carroll took a hit in the corner and that's gonna be a penalty on number 88, Ross Opeka. And they're gonna call him for a roughing in the corner. Peters Township playing a very physical game and it shows they're up on the scoreboard two to nothing. Maybe Upper St. Clair can get some offense generated on this power play. And Giacobi back to Gavitt. Gavitt takes the shot, screenshot, but doesn't get all the way to the net. Stevenson now. Back to Gavitt. To Stevenson. To Gavitt. Gavitt takes a shot off a helmet in front. Giacobi now back behind the net to Kopak. To Basic at the point. To Gavitt. And Kopak, one too many moves, doesn't get a shot off. Short handed opportunity for number 40 of Peters Township. Jack Lang, but answered by the glove of Petito. It was Gavitt up the left wing, stop and start. Pass to Giacobi who enters the zone. Giacobi looking for a pass. He'll take the shot instead and into the shoulder of Wesley Kaler, who's been outstanding in this game against Upper St. Clair. A number of opportunity and shots went his way, and he stopped them all so far with six minutes left in the second period. Peters Township leads two to nothing. Face off one back to Daly. Upper St. Clair has been doing a Relatively good job of face-offs in the second period, winning most of them. Gavitt now in the circle, just gonna dump. Puck gets past him. This time kept in by Basic. Gavitt's just going to take the puck, waltz into the middle. Barnes is out of the box now. Lamb open in the middle, pass doesn't get there. Basic now. And it's going to be a three on two going the other way for Peters Township. Anthos now. Back to Schwartz. Schwartz with a shot and a good save by Anthony Petito. I think if Upper St. Clair could get just one goal on the board, it would motivate them to play more offensively. Oh, a beautiful backhanded shot by Steven Rex. Top shelf where Mama hides the cookies. Right over the left shoulder, the left catching glove of Anthony Petito. Right from center ice, backhanded. Rex his second goal this game. 
Scored two in a row. Slap shot from the point blocked by Petito. Manalo now behind the net to Carroll. A nice little chip pass there to Manalo and then to Leonard. Leonard trying to keep the puck, can't sustain it. And Peters Township now in the offensive zone. Puck is on the blue line, barely cleared by Upper St. Clair. Carroll with a gritty play, trying to keep possession. He just gets rubbed out by the much larger defenseman for Peters Township, Lejeune. Carroll with a shot into the catching glove of Wesley Kaler. one and a good defensive play by Isaac Goodman but Petito gives up a rebound collected by Upper St. Clair uh, offside Tucker Lamb and Jacob Basic Upper St. Clair needs their offensive stars to start producing this game Elliot Stevenson and Jacob Basic are both tied for 11th in the varsity AAA league for points with 18, and they're also two games back from most of their opponents. shot at Petito from a high corner. Pull it to Carroll. Carroll's gonna take a shot. Stevenson collects it now, pass it off the boards to Carroll, behind the net. He's gonna take a hit, but keep the puck. And he's rubbed out against the boards. Comes to Majestic, who shoots between the legs of Gavitt, but stopped by Petito. And a big hit on Carroll, with his head down in the defensive zone. Kopak now with a shot and right into the logo of Kaler. the offensive threat of Peters Township. The outlet pass to Stevenson now, to Giacobbe. He takes a shot, knocked down by Stevenson, and they can't capitalize. What a great chance. What a great chance for Upper St. Clair. Just can't score a goal on that play by Elliot Stevenson. Now it's Gavitt and Stevenson, a two on two with men coming back for Peters Township. Gavitt just takes a shot into the pads of Kaler. Stevenson in front, stick lifted, doesn't get a shot off. Now it's DiNardo coming up the wing, a one on two. 
Giacobbe hit behind the net but keeps the puck. Passes it to Pullet now. Stevenson coming down the wing. Pullet takes a shot against the pads of Kaler. Now Daly to Pullet who deflects it but off target. 38 seconds left to go in the period and there's going to be a penalty on Cal Raymore for Peters Township and the penalty the call is going to be cross checking and Upper St. Clair power play has gotten a lot of opportunities but no goals. third penalty of the game for Peters Township. Manalo, a good saucer pass to Daly. The shot is blocked and now it's good defensive play. Great defensive play by Will Gavitt coming back on that breakaway and stops a shot from even getting off. And that is going to do it for the second period. A little bit of carryover time on the penalty in the third period. Peters Township in white with red pants. Upper St. Clair in all black with red and white trim. Peters Township currently leads the Panthers three to nothing. But Upper St. Clair is on the power play. Carryover time from last period. There's a minute 20 seconds left on the power play for Upper St. Clair. Maybe they can capitalize and start a comeback here in the third period. Kopak with it now to basic. And Kopak and basic didn't play much together during the first two periods, so. Upper St. Clair is switching up its lines, hoping to make something happen here in the third period. Passing for Upper St. Clair, yes! And Pullet puts it into the open net. Good give and go play by Upper St. Clair and they capitalize on their third power play opportunity of the night. And no more perfect goalies remain. Peters Township looking to strike back. And Petito with two excellent saves, one after another. And excellent reflex by Petito again, catching the slap shot from the point from number six, Young, for, for Peters Township. Petito with a save right off the face off. Sixteen minutes left in the third period, and the Panthers just got their first goal of the evening. But Peters Township still leads three to one. Let's see if that um, if that offensive spark can lead to something bigger for the Panthers here in the third period. Young with it for, oh, and gives it up in front of his own net. And another goal for Upper St. Clair. That's gonna be number 21, Jacob Basic. Working with Derek Hopak, that Lions has um, two goals in the third period in one minute and 38 seconds. Upper St. Clair definitely worked up by the second intermission. Coach said something in the locker room and just like that, they're right back into this game. Three to two with 15 minutes to play. Plenty of time to score another goal and even it up or two and take the lead. Oh, 
Timeout here taken by Peters Township. Probably a pretty expected outcome after they gave up two goals in the first one minute 40 seconds of the third period. You're gonna take a timeout and try to regroup here. But as long as, as, long as Anthony Petito can continue his stellar play in net, I would definitely say Upper St. Clair has a great chance in this game now, right back in it in the third period. Opika takes a shot off the wing. And I think that one was going wide, but Petito covers it just to be safe. There will be a face-off in Upper St. Clair's zone to the left of Anthony Petito. Petito's still looking for his first win of the season. The two wins attributed to Upper St. Clair, the goalie of record was Jonathan Blyer both times. Opika looking for an outlet pass, passes it right to Daly. Gives it to Malcolm Miller. Basic is hit. Daly will keep the puck in and shoot from the left point, but that's a good glove save by the goalie for Peters Township, number 33, Wesley Kaler. Puck out into the upper St. Clair end right off the faceoff. Icing is going to be the call here again. And it'll go all the way back into Peters Township zone. You can sense the momentum in this game. It is shifted from Peters Township, and it's definitely behind upper St. Clair now. Still need to score one more goal, though. Saleo in the corner now. Manalo tries to skate it out, loses the puck. And here's Gavitt. Just a little backhander into the zone. And Saleo will go for a shift change. Isaac Goodman out there now. But Saleo's the only one that changed. Peters Township enters the zone now. Anthos tries to center, but it's deflected away by Manalo. Here comes Lamb trying to play the puck, and Michalowski gets to it first for Peters Township. Point to point, and Schwartz takes a shot that's saved by a defenseman. I think Manalo blocked that one. Upper St. Clair getting some fortuitous bounces here in the third period, but that's what they need. Schwartz had that good opportunity for Peters Township. And Upper St. Clair clears the zone on a mishandle by DiNardo for Peters Township, and they'll get a full line change, except for Isaac Goodman, who had just changed prior to that play. Daly with a good play to get it to the corner. Now Giacobbe to Carroll. And Giacobbe's down the wing with Stevenson trailer. Giacobbe takes a shot and it's past Kaler, but wide of the net. Bouncing pug, Daly can't settle it. Now it's Peters Township. Lamb dump, Lang dump, dumps it in. Petito's there to play it. And now it's Daly to Carroll. And Carroll takes a shot from the point right into the catching glove of Wesley Kaler. Uh, 
Uh, here comes the line that scored both goals in the beginning of the third period. Basic, Pullet, and Kopak with Malcolm Miller on defense alongside Will Gavin. Malcolm Miller puts the body to William Barnes, who scored two goals this game. Kopak now deflects it into the offensive zone. Nothing comes from that play. Peter Township regains possession. And it's over the net. Hope everyone's all right down there. Just a little deflection. Wouldn't hurt too bad. Basic now to Kopak, tries to do, gets hit instead. Daly now on Barnes, hard nosed defense. Saleo's rocked in front by Peters Township after the whistle. And there are 11 minutes and 20 seconds to play here in the final period of regulation. Peters Township leads three to two against Upper St. Clair. Pull it with good pressure, forces Peters Township back to their own end. But now an outlet, and here's Rex already has a goal on the night. Barnes keeps it in the zone with a backhand to the opposite corner. Off Saleo, and now pull it clears, and yeah, Supper St. Clair is gonna go for a line change. Now it's Giacobbe and Stevenson out there with Carroll. And Giacobbe with a good forecheck, puts it to Ian Carroll in front. Backhand shot right into the two pads of Kaler for Peters Township. Carroll with a shot and a good save again. It's a one-on-one, -on -one. Opika against Gavitt. Someone joins the rush for a two-on-one, -on -one. and two excellent saves by Anthony Petito. Drops the stick on the first one, doesn't need it for the second one. A sprawling save on the second opportunity. And Anthony Petito has decided that he's gonna shut down. Uh, Gavitt can't, clear, can't uh, keep the zone, but he can pass it back to Stevenson, who takes a heavy hit. Opika in front, shot doesn't get off. Good defensive play by Will Gavitt. Now it's Giacobbe, dumps it into the zone, and he'll go for a change, but Stevenson and Isaac Goodman stay on. Stevenson just gets hit one after the other three times in a row. Oh! Tucker Lamb there with a good shot, but answered by the pad of Kaler. 
feel like I'm a record stuck on repeat. A good opportunity and a good save on both sides of the ice. Goalies are dominating play in this game. Back to the point to Daly. Daly with a wrister. Deflected off a couple people. I don't think it ever got to the net. A flurry of opportunities here for Upper St. Clair in the third period. But they can't capitalize. Kopak now into the zone. And he shoots it top shelf. And the game is tied, 3-3, three to three, Upper St. Clair and Peters Township. And you have to think that all the momentum is with Upper St. Clair right now. And this Kopak basic pullet line has just scored three goals over the course of nine minutes in this third period to tie the game at three. Upper St. Clair has to be feeling confident at this point, but the game's not over. There's still eight minutes left, and they've got to lock down and score another one to get the W. Upper St. Clair clears the zone. Pull it against the boards, trying to gain possession. Saleo passes to pull it, kicks it off his skate, takes a hit, and loses possession. Now it's Basic and Gavitt enter the zone, and Gavitt's gonna take a shot that goes wide, intended for deflection by Basic, but he didn't get to it. Petito will cover the puck, freezing play. Gets the change that his defenseman desperately wanted. Carroll takes a big hit against the boards. He must have had his number before the game. He's been getting hammered all night. Here comes Daly now, playing the puck before Majestic can get there. Stevenson circles back into his own end. And Stevenson almost enters the zone, but not quite good defensive play by Underwood for Peters Township. Opika now down the wing. Opika will circle around and try to pass it, but it's deflected to the point, and the shot by the point is answered by Anthony Petito. Penalty coming, but it's a delayed call. And they're going to call a slash on number... Number... 21 for the Panthers. Jacob Basic brings him up to 20 penalty minutes this year. Upper St. Clair is one of the least penalized teams with only 88 penalty minutes coming into this game as opposed to Peters Township's 216. 
Crease violation by William Barnes, number 23 for Peters Township, and the faceoff comes back outside of the zone. You can't harass the goalie. Not while he's in his crease, at least. Defensive play by Stevenson to block a shot and clear the zone. Giacopi now pokes to the head. But he pokes it too far, and that's going to be an easy play for Kaler. This game would have a lot higher intensity if both teams played whistle to whistle with the uh, strength and energy they play with after the whistles. A lot of, a lot of uh, scrums after whistles in this game. Giacobi's going to take the face off now. Uh, Daly comes up with it. Gavin now to Kopak, who passes it into the abdomen of Jacoby, who just gets it into the, the zone. Penalty coming up on Peters Town Township. A slash. Slash on number 12, on, Raymore. So there's going to be seven seconds of four on four here. And then Upper St. Clair is going to have a one minute, 53 second power play which will bring us to two minutes left in the game. And timeout, Upper St. Clair. We're gonna try to regroup here, maybe rest up a bit before this power play, which is certainly going to be a crucial part in this game. Upper St. Clair and Peters Township are tied at three with four minutes and one second to go in the last period of regulation time, the third period. And both teams have a penalty, but the penalty to Jacob Basic is seven seconds from expiring and a fresh penalty from Peters Township on Raymore. So much pressure now on these two goalies, Anthony Petito and, and Wesley Kaler. And Basic comes out of the box and gets the puck. He's going to dump it into the offensive zone. And Pullet's going to pressure. Kept in by Stevenson and Gavin, a little two-man play. Stevenson slowed it down, Gavin got the puck. Oh. And a shot by Stevenson from the point. Big, juicy rebound let out by Kaler, but nobody home. And Kaler's gonna glove that one and hold on for a face-off to his right. With one minute, 30 seconds to go on the power play for Upper St. Clair, and three minutes, 30 seconds to go in the period. This is certainly going to come down to the wire.
Stevenson in the circle. He's going to pass it back to Basic. All the top scorers on for Upper St. Clair just trying to score a goal on this power play. A two-on-one opportunity now. And an open net opportunity for Peters Township and he shoots it just past the post, number 81, Anthos. Certainly dream about that one tonight, depending on the outcome of this game. Petito plays that for Daly. Anthos is back for revenge. Passes to Kopak. Kopak enters the zone cleanly. And pull it. Can't keep hold of the puck. That one's going to be cleared out so they can regroup on this penalty kill. 20 seconds left. Probably time for one more rush here. Kopak with a nice shot. Good penalty killing by Peters Township and it's even strength action now for the rest of the game, we hope. Gia Kobe trying to keep it in, but visibly fatigued at this point. He's been on for a while. And block shot by Malcolm Miller on a chance for Peters Township. Puck close to the net now, but cleared away by Upper St. Clair. A shot and a save by Petito. A minute 14 seconds left and both teams will make a full line change here. We'll see Pullet and Basic and Kopak out for Upper St. Clair. They have scored all three goals this line has and all three in the third period in the span of nine minutes. So we'll see if they you know, have some last second heroics here. One minute left. And I'll tell you one thing, neither of these teams want to go to overtime. Both of them want to win it right here. Basic and Kopak up now to four check for Upper St. Clair. 28 seconds remaining in the period now. Fifteen on the clock. Upper St. Clair might have one last opportunity here if they get their ducks in a row. Doesn't look like they will. Peters Township has possession. Four. Two. And that's the end of the period. So. Anthony Petito and Wesley Kaler both making superb stops in the third period to keep their teams in this game. And now a five minute fourth period, overtime period, golden goal period is coming up. And you'd have to imagine the momentum has about settled, probably even on both sides by now. Upper St. Clair has scored three unanswered, but not much offense for them since that third goal. And 
overtime in varsity AAA is five on five, not four on four or three on three like in other leagues. And they're gonna start with Giacobbe, Stevenson, and Carroll as the starting offenders. And Malcolm Miller and Isaac Goodman as the defensemen. <laughs> Pass to Stevenson now, just pokes it ahead right into Peters Township's defense. Majestic now trying to get through. Good, good comeback play by Giacobbe. Apparently offside on the play. It's going to come back outside of the Panthers' defensive end. The basic Kopak pull it line out now. Goodman and Miller still playing defense. Haven't gotten a change yet. And the pass, in, the pass intended for basic just goes a little bit astray. With four minutes remaining now in the overtime period. Three minutes remaining in the overtime period. <laughs> Daly now behind his own net to Gavitt. Off the wall and not quite out of the zone but Carroll's gonna poke it through. Peters Township clears it back into the upper St. Clair zone, and Daly intended pass for Carroll is taken instead by Peters Township. Penalty now on, it appears number 82, Carroll. You're gonna see what the call is here. I stick. And the stick comes up into the neck and face area, helmet area, of the opposing player. Refs can usually catch that one. So, three penalties, or four penalties this game for Peters Township and a total of three for Upper St. Clair. This is a vital penalty kill now for Upper St. Clair. <laughs> Good save by Anthony Petito. Looks like it got stuck behind his left pad. Any way you can make him, eh? So they've got Basic and Pullet on there with Daly and Malcolm Miller. Deflected shot, good save by Petito. Point to point. Big shot from the point for Peters Township, high and wide. And Upper St. Clair is gonna clear. Only one minute remaining on the penalty to Carroll. They'll get a fresh line out there. One minute 30 left in the game. And it's going to be an offside on 
Peters Township, so it's going to come out to right outside the Upper St. Clair zone. One minute, 23 seconds left in the overtime period. Good shot from the wing answered by Petito, as so many of them have. Yeah! And a shot from the point by Michalowski, deflected in front, and that's going to be the end of the game in overtime. Peters Township wins with a minute left by a score of 4-3 to three on the power play. And you always think about ifs and buts, but that was a solid game played by both sides and a pretty good third period comeback going by Upper St. Clair.